Hello and welcome to Crane Cryptic. Uh, thanks to Simon for keeping the blog going over Christmas and uh, Merry Christmas to you all. I'm going to have a look at The Guardian today. Um, that poor crossword that we tried last time never turned up. So um, today I had a go at The Guardian. I'm going to talk you through myself and perhaps look at some of the significant differences between The Guardian and The Times. So this puzzle is set by Screw. It's not a name I know at all. Um, and it took me a little while to get started. Now, the I think I got two down in the end. One night in Paris, being from colder climates, quite a nice clue. Um, have seen the makeup before though. So one is I, and then night in Paris is a translation. So it's nuit, and that gives you inwit, which is a being from colder climates, which is quite neat. Now, I then got going with a few anagrams. Um, there were some fairly long anagrams in the Northwest that, that got me going in, in this puzzle. But here's one of the differences. I've paused the video, so we'll have a look at three down. To make love, we let hips wiggle. Quite an amusing surface, possibly a tiny bit suggestive for the times. Um, but fairly clear to the regular solver that wiggle is an anagram indicator. We let hips has nine letters. So it's an anagram of we let hips, and it's going to mean to make love. Now, there's a lot of synonyms for making love. Um, what we actually get here is not, however, quite a synonym for to make love, which is an intransitive verb. What we get is a synonym for to make love to, which is a transitive verb. So I'm guessing that that didn't help me come up with the right sort of words. I was probably thinking of um, synonyms for make love that were specifically intransitive synonyms. Um, let's not run through what some of those were just in case, in case I say something I shouldn't. Um, but anyway, we come back to that in a bit. I, my point is, I just don't think that would that would arise in the times because it would be edited more on that. So here at Nine Across, we've got an anagram of at me and menus, and that was a bit more straightforward. It means delight, which could be quite comfortably a verb or an, a noun. Um, Eleven Across was a hidden, and now I've got the letters for e. For um, three down, I can see sleep with. Uh, one across is very neat. Particular was a well-hidden definition in that. Um, popular ideas say abandoned by centrists. Well, that means with the centre letters left out of those words given. And then one down was finished. Now, now I found it a bit harder to make progress. And the general theme of this puzzle was, for me... It took me 20% longer than my average time solve. But I think, in fact, only about 20% of the clues were hard. In fact, quite a lot of the others were fairly straightforward. As we've seen, there have been some anagrams already. There are more to come later. Um, and the difference is, I think, that... Some of the clues, they're pretty cleverly written. I'm not going to dispute with that. But some of them are so hard or so um, vaguely referential that they're quite hard to come up with. Now, I've nipped down to 21 down, found another hidden. You wouldn't get two hiddens in the times, but that's fine. Um, 28 across. That's, that's a bit of a classic. Let's just pause there. Country discussed problem with hooters. Um... And the answer is Qatar, as I've written in. I think that's a nice joke. But does Qatar, is it really a homophone for the country Qatar? I'm not sure. Not to me, but you could pronounce the country the same as you would pronounce Qatar. Is the condition Qatar fairly defined as problem with hooters? Not sure. Again, maybe. I, I'm not too worried about that clue. It's probably quite fair. I was quite pleased to solve it from just the seat. But, again, it's 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 got things in it that I just wouldn't quite expect to see with the times. 26 across, you take the O off once and put in IE for that is. 
another very common crossword abbreviation. 23 down is made up from S for Sunday and a word for sport. 14 down, another long anagram, fairly straightforward. Regret sun turns into resurgent. 22 across Irish sailors, corks crew, that's very neat. That'll take you to Bordeaux, a corkscrew I suppose does. Duck, at 17 across duck, last couple of punches is the ES from punches, and then champ is chew, which is fair and quite difficult. Um, and 18 down was arm in wish. 13 across, a very nice clue. You can just see me filling it in there, I finished off. Um, monarchistic, seeing separation on the way. Now most solvers seeing that, like myself, would be thinking, monarchistic must be the definition it's it's kind of a long word it's saying something very specific it's at the beginning of the clue and they'd be thinking of royalist or some yorkist something along those lines monarchistic seeing separation on the way um, but in fact that's the word play which is breaks down as for king so word play one word in the clue leading to two words in the answer is very cleverly done. Separation on the way is a sort of cryptically defining way of giving forking. And that's very neat. Now, eight down, I think I look at next. Brewer's brief career with appropriate following. I think it's fair enough, but again, it's quite difficult. The brewer is not a human brewer. It's something that you can brew with or something that does some brewing. Um, brief career. Well, I did manage to parse that quite quickly. It's going to be a word that means run fast with its last letter missing. But there's so many words that mean to run fast. There's hurry and hasten, hair and rush and run and sprint and many others. And then appropriate following. Well, there's a lot of words that mean... There's a few words that mean appropriate, but there's an awful lot more that mean appropriate, which is how you have to actually read it to parse the clue correctly. So I really needed a couple of letters in the, in the grid. I've got an E in the middle of the first word and a G at the end of the second. And um, once that, that helped steer me towards the right synonym for appropriate, which is in this case bag. And then I could think of a brewer that ended in a bag and prove it by thinking of a synonym for career, in this case tear, where you can take the last letter off, and that makes tea bag. Um, this particular grid shape means that with half the puzzle done, all I have for the right hand side is four words with one letter in each of them. That's not very helpful. Um, it's a grid shape, I have a feeling you wouldn't see in the times for about that reason. If you do solve half a puzzle, you've normally got more help into the second half, and that might not always be true, but it's a feeling I have. 12 across, Spooner's important page at one working with constant buzz. Now, 99% of the time when you see Spooner in a crossword clue, you know that the words following are going to be um, a bit of wordplay that you can swap the initial letters around as the Reverend Spooner is supposed to have always done and then the rest of the clue will be the real definition. So one working with constant buzz seems to be the real definition and the B there has helped me understand how that def sort of definition is working. But it did also help that a pager, the only word I could think of for a pager was either a beeper or a bleeper. And uh, that means that if I'm thinking of a word beginning with B and ending with EPA for a, an important, for a, sorry, one working with constant buzz, there was only one word that came to mind, which was beekeeper. And the kind of joke there within the word play is that an important pager is a key beeper. So in goes beekeeper. Um, now, the clues in the top right... Oh no, I go to the bottom left. This is lovely actually, 19 down. Appeal when wickets taken by Aussie caught by bowler. Now it's a beautiful cricket surface and indeed it's a cricket solution. The appeal, um, it's a bit hard to work that from the wordplay. But luckily, you know, as a 
cricket follower. Well done, England overnight. They're doing quite well at Melbourne for once. Um, 19 down says its appeal, and it's we've got a W, the third letter of six. So the classic cricket appeal is how's that, which is often abbreviated to how's that. Now, we've got a wicket as a W, and if that's taken by an Aussie, one of the synonyms of Aussie is Oz, O-Z, which can be, I think both can probably be used as both adjective and noun. So you can put the W in O-Z, and you've got the O-W-Z from how's that. And that whole structure is caught by a bowler hat. And bowler question mark is a one way in a crossword clue of saying bowler, for example. But a wonderful clue where Aussie translates to Oz, wicket to W, bowler to hat. The whole thing comes out to a cricket appeal of how's that. And a beautiful cricket surface, really well put together. Um, and solvable, which I quite like. So how's that goes in at 19 down. And then 19 across is a straight anagram. These add breaks that pilot has. A surface referring to a kind of pilot episode. Oh, 27 across, another another anagram. Like panic is the anagram fodder there. Um, I don't think I can do 25 down at this point. And we're, we're coming soon to some of the clues that I think differentiate this that were really very tough, um, that didn't give you much to work with. So these add... As I say, a surface that refers to a TV show, but a pilot has a headset. I suppose a pilot in an aeroplane has an awful lot of stuff, but a headset's one of the things. 20 down, another anagram of restyle this time. And here we go at 29 across. This is the, the extreme clue. Likely to lead on 51 for 0 in 2020. Now that's another very strong cricket surface, obviously. This time we don't get a cricket answer, but... Uh, there's so much in that clue that is quite frightening for the solver. Likely looks like a definition, but maybe in 2020 or 2020 question mark would be the definition. The question mark is kind of saying here, in a way, right? not maybe necessarily accurately, but I'm just making a bit of a joke of this. And that's going to kind of add vagueness. To lead could be a crossword indication of coming before. On could be an indication of coming after or before. 51 is probably L-I. 404 could be an indication of a substitution. O could represent all sorts of things. Could be the letter O or could be all sorts of other things. There's a lot of vagueness in there and no clear indication of what the definition is. It might well be likely, but it might well not be. Ends in a Y. That kind of increases the possibilities of likely being the definition because it makes it look like an adjective or adverb, but doesn't actually narrow that field down much. So pretty tough clue. And I keep on coming back to that and then going away from it as I solve the puzzle. Um, and in fact, I think at this stage, 24 mentions fish and fruit, and there's so many possibilities for fish and fruit. That's quite scary too. And in the end, I work my way back up and try and try in this northeast section, where there are there are okay six down. There's a bit of an anagram in it. Now it's worth noting that the end of this clue, it looks like the definition is put back. The end of the clue is male criminal opens. And that can't, that criminal, which can be an anagram indicator, can't fairly be indicating an anagram of male and opens. No matter how much those letters look like, they could anagram to an answer. Because it sits in the middle, it can only be working on male or on opens. Because of the P and the S in the grid here, it looks like it's working on opens which can only really therefore be pones. And once you've got pones and the definition puts, puts back, the male synonym becoming post is fairly straightforward and postpones is the answer. Um, 10 down, bit of blusher turns out to be the letter B without changing gives the rest of the wordplay as is, and that's basis for foundation. And seven down is ensure with censure without its first letter. But now five down and four across are very tough. 
Five down is guy about to propose turning down starter. And here the really tough bit of it to me is that guy is a synonym for a type of rope, which in this case turns out to be a cable. Now a guy rope is not a cable, it's a much smaller rope than that. So that's quite vague. And four across, who's running to announce starters of steak and kidney pie? Who knows what that's about? But it turns out that the definition is who's running. And the really convoluted wordplay needs you to say the starting letters of steak, kidney, and pie, which are S, K, P. When you say those out loud together, you get someone who is running, although that's one of, you know, run has maybe 100 definitions, one of which is escape. So that's pretty hard too. Um, in the guy about to propose clue, to propose was to table, which is an unusual meaning of propose. So those really were very hard. I, I thought the vagueness of who's running and guy as definitions were things that you wouldn't really come across in the Times very often. Um, you know, guy, I would go so far as to call inaccurate for a cable. And maybe I'm wrong about ropes there, but it just doesn't seem the same sort of rope at all to me. Um, and four across is very clever, but you could be a bit fairer to the solver than with the definition of who's running. But, um, you know, fair enough. They're not, they're not dreadful clues at all, and I found them quite difficult. I just have a feeling you wouldn't quite. They'd have been edited in the Times, and I think The Guardian has a much lighter editing touch. 16 across was charge without the E and rill, and that gives you char grill. That's getting blacker, and something that gets things blacker. Still can't do 29 across. 24 across the fish. I suppose I've heard of a gaper, and I had to think of that to realize that the fruit was a grape with right to put to the end. 25 down, hands in this sticker. Well, luckily the letters P and K are very suggestive, and if that leads you eventually to think of poker, then you might realize that's something that sticks something, sort of, and that you get hands in this, in the sense of poker is a card game. And finally, that leads us back to 29 across, where it turns out that the definition is likely to lead on. Um, and if 51 replaces O in a word, so L-I has to go into this. And luckily, in the end, I can really only think of one word that fits with something L-I-R, something Y, which is flirty. So 2020 question mark is giving you 40. Now, I don't think there's anything about 2020 that suggests you sum the letters, especially written like that. Yes, there are 40 overs in a 2020 match, but... It's very vague. You just wouldn't see that in a lot of puzzles. But if you replace O with LI in 40, you get flirty, and that means likely to lead on. So it's fair enough apart from the 2020 bit, but that is kind of leading you astray a lot. So there we are, done in a time of about 8 minutes and 15 seconds, and uh, a very interesting puzzle quite enjoyable and um, as I say points up some of the differences between the one that uh, that I'm normally seeing and the Guardian.